friends, we're back. Episode two of probably a million. I've done the first layer of my costume, uh, or rather my clothing, as I like to call it, as I have done in the previous video. Um, and we're on to the armour this time. Very interesting. It's going to be a little bit shorter because it's only sort of one or two pieces of uh, kit this time. Um, but yes, here we go. Enjoy. Hello again. We're on to the second layer. I'm still wearing the same stuff as before, which is good because I need it to get the next stuff on. So like I said, the next layer for me uh, is my armour. Now, hopefully, for a lot of you that are cleverer than me, that's not your second layer. That's your last layer. But because I seem to wear it underneath everything else, um, I have to put it on now. And unfortunately, I can't actually put my armour on myself, which is another... Mm -hmm another no-no, um, really you need to be able to put all your costume on or all your kit on by yourself um, in case you're at an event on your own um, or you've gone to an event on your own um, or you'd everyone else just getting dressed at the same time as you. So ideally, if you're self-sufficient, great. If you're not like me, then, well, you just have to get a not very glamorous assistant. Or an Andy, if one of those isn't available. So it's time. It is time. Uh, which oh, they're both undone. No, one of them's undone. So this is my armor that Andy has so wonderfully made. Um, it's like a leather gambeson, I suppose. It's it's a woven leather. Do we want to say cuirass or hauberk or jerkin? Woven. I, I suppose harness is probably the, the closest. Because mm -hmm. it's, yeah. But it's not really a harness because it's not hard or no. you know, plated. So this set of leather armour is large enough that it covers my chest and my back. So as long as I wear this with a pair of braces and a pair of greaves, then it's enough coverage that it gives me the hits. Um, this armour is medium because it's uh, it's woven leather and together all the layers make it more than 3mm. Um, so it has to be more than 3mm thick or 3mm thick to be uh, medium armour, otherwise it's light. In this case it's medium. It's very much on the sort of light end of medium. Um, but it is medium and if I can work out now I'll just put the little rules in uh, in a box somewhere uh, they just have the armor classifications because I'm I don't want to be giving you the wrong advice um, this one does up with button studs which is why I can't do it myself fortunately and it can um, the one you made for yourself has buckles, doesn't it? So that's a bit easier to get in and out of. Yeah, because I'm running out of buckles. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Right. Brilliant. So that, again, it goes all the way down past my knees. So it's another layer that could, I could wear on my own. You know, again, this is with my mask and my neck wrap or not if I'm not playing an orc um, this is everything so I kind of as I said before each layer is as detailed as the last and uh, and can be worn as its own layer which is nice I also wear this uh, to legacy um, and maybe to our vampire game if I need armor I think Shall you see. always need armor <laughs> um, especially in a plot line says the man who goes to a parlour larp in full chain. Thankfully it's Ally, not Steel. I did wear Steel to it once. Never again. <laughs> and then just so that I show you in, in all armour, um, these are Andy's braces. I've usually got a pair of leather and chain medium armour braces, but these ones, like my greaves, 
our heavy armor. Yes, please. So these, I believe, um, where you have heavy armor, if I got shot with an arrow, I wouldn't take the impale because it's heavy armor. But because I've only got medium armor chest on, I only get the hits from medium armor. Fine. No, that's fine. Now, a lot of orcs will wear braces and greaves all the time, um, just because it, it they fit well. Um, part of the orc brief is you are part of the civilization of the empire. Um, it's your right and privilege to be able to wear whatever you want. So a lot of orcs will wear armor just out and about. Um, or bits of armor. I often wear a pauldron. Um, but it's one of those things where arms can, I don't want to say boring, but arms can look quite um, one-dimensional if you've not got a lot going on. So you want to try and layer your arms up as much as um, the rest of your costume. So I've got wraps, gloves, and a shirt, and now braces. So that's actually quite a nice look on its own. There's a lot going on, but it's not too, um, not too much. Is that right? That's perfect. Thank you. Oh yeah. So there we go. That's me in my armour get up. Um, I think now I'll do you a close up. Right then. So as promised, we've got a bit of a close up. I've just laid my armour out on the floor. As you can see, it's uh, not going to focus. It's nicely woven together and then stitched all in place. And I've got a nice little sort of studded detail going on on the collar. It's just some small brass rivets. Um, they don't do anything. They don't hold any plates in or anything, but I just thought, you know what, I'd like some sort of gold trim on the top, seeing as that's sort of Fal's colour. Um, and it looks nice, kind of generically as well. So there we go, that's uh, all the straps are sewn on. So they're not riveted on. Uh, well, the side straps are sewn on, I should say, looking at the bottom right of the screen, and there's a riveted strap that's attaching the tacit on. But that was because I did these separately, I actually sewed it on. Um, I sort of looped it on originally, um, but it actually fits, or sits rather better now, as it is. Um, again, improving your kit as you go. You don't have to make it completely the first time you wear it. You can go back to it and alter it and make things better. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit of a close-up. Hopefully what I'll do is, I don't have the mannequin at home, um, but... I will put all of my kit on a mannequin Skywalker as we go. Um, some nice bias binded, bias binded, bias bound edge. Um, sort of shows off the quality that we're aiming for. It doesn't have any, uh, well, you can still see all the stitching on the back, so it's not, the inside isn't pretty, um, but. It doesn't need, for me it doesn't need to be you're not going to see it and it's only mine if we were making these um, in fact Andy's currently making one to sell and um, that'll have some lining fabric on the inside so it covers up all of the the workings out and the goings on and whatnot so there we are that is a close-up of my armor and I think for this video it's going to be a bit shorter than the previous one because it's just one piece of kit that's all done so so far let's have a recap we've gone through all my underlayers and now my armor so i believe as is the fashion the next video will be my jacket and i think it's going to be my old jacket because i've got a lot to show off on that one before i show you the brand spanking new one so thank you very much for getting this far and i will see you again hopefully shortly, because we're going to get these out in fairly quick succession. I will see you in the next one. Bye! You better go follow us on Instagram! 
right now. Go and look at that Instagram because I can I know how to do links now. So it's right here, maybe, or here, or here, or or here, or behind me, maybe. Instagram. That's what we do. I think we do the other ones. Maybe we do a Facebook now. Who knows? Ah. Anyway. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment. And follow us on Blair? Instagram. What are you trying to say that I say? Follow us on Instagram. Yeah, do that thing. Bye.